what a prayer of a believer can do to the devil. What a prayer, what a believer's prayer can do to the devil. Now, as we are looking into that, I want first to explain what your prayer cannot do. There are about two things that your prayer cannot do to the devil. One, your prayer cannot kill him. Whether fasting for 40 days, whether you take 100 days, it cannot kill him. Majority of pastors have prayed for 40. It doesn't matter how much you prayed. <laughs> it's how much you know. The Bible says you shall know the truth. And the truth will set you free. You must be having some knowledge of the prayer before you pray. You will go to the mountain and come back empty. And you lament. Later all along you stop praying. Because prayer is meant to produce results. It's not an entertainment. That's why you cannot pray every time. You cannot pray the religious prayer of two times three a day, which you don't manage. You pray when the Spirit prompts you to pray. The Bible is a very ordinary book, and God is a very ordinary God. You know, he says even to families, before you set your time to pray, you must agree. That means prayer is not an emergency. You must plan for it. You must plan for it. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you don't pray to compete with anybody. No. I don't have to go for the days because... I have had somebody prayed for 40 days. No, no, no. If the spirit prompts me, then I will know I will survive. I do what he tells me because believers are not led by prayer. They are led by the spirit. It is the spirit of God to dictate your Christian life. Any time you imagine and you draw a timetable for yourself, that is purely liturgical. You are becoming a religious mover, not a believer. A believer must be prompted by the Spirit. So one of the things your prayer cannot do is that it cannot kill the devil. So don't ever pray like you are killing him. Before I finish 40 days, he must be dead. He will not die. It is you who will die. It's you. There is no provision in the scripture where prayer kills the devil. It's nowhere. <laughs> Number two, what your prayer cannot do is that your prayer cannot change the devil's destiny. You can't pray for him to be converted. His destiny is set. The Bible says that there is a fire that is set for him. Matthew 25 and 41. So there is a fire that is set for him and his angels. Exclude ignorance from your Christian journey. There is no room for ignorance in Christianity. You shall know. There is only room for knowledge. It's knowledge that guarantees freedom in Christianity. You shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. And my people perish because of ignorance. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Is everybody there? So you must know that your prayer cannot kill the devil. And it cannot change his destiny. His destiny is set, documented. 
and it will be actualized by God himself. Nobody, no human being, no matter his name, pastor, prophet, archbishop, right honorable, pope, nobody was given the mandate and the commission of ending the devil or changing his destiny. That is within God himself. You cannot do anything about it. I sing a song a few years ago asking the devil why he's not old and why he's not dying. That's music for a funeral service. Now, what is it that prayer can do? There are three things prayer can do. One, it can deny the devil access to your life. That's number one. You deny the devil access, you deny him opportunity. The Bible confirms that the devil can be denied opportunity. When it talks about widows, in 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 14, he says, it gives instructions to widows on what they can do to deny the devil opportunity for slander. That means every believer has the ability to deny the devil access. You can concentrate in prayer and if the devil finds it and bear, he cannot access you. And one more thing you can do to deny the devil access is purity. You know the life of Job. Job was so pure that there was a hedge of fire around him and the devil never had a single opportunity to access him. So you can deny him access. Am I talking to anybody? Yes. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, neighbor. neighbor. If the devil accesses you, ni kwa sababu ulifungua. Na muangalie kwa baje mwambie funga funga. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> so you can deny him access to your family, to your business to your life by doing the right things becoming a pure do you know that even giving the correct tithe and offering can deny the devil access to your life you can create a territory that the devil has no access praise god Hallelujah. tell your neighbor intensify in doing right Mwambie intensify. Watch a kutens. We, we you intensify. See your kutens. Hallelujah. <laughs> Number two, what you can do? You, your prayer and you can resist him, so the devil can be resisted. That's number two. He can be resisted. The Bible says in James chapter 4 verse 7, resist the devil and he will flee. That means the devil can approach you because for you to resist him to the extent of him fleeing, it means he must have approached you and he can be within your vicinity. Resist him, he will flee. Resist. So every believer within your life, you must create a resistance movement. Every time you spot him approaching, you already put on the switch of resistance. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible says resist him. So that means every time the devil makes suggestions, you must be spiritually sensitive and alert to know that this is the devil speaking and this is what he wants. Because the devil to be resisted, don't think the devil is just uh, uh, so abnormal to approach you in a normal way. The devil is cunning. He will always use tricks to come to you. He will use things that appear to be normal, but at the end of the day, he wants to cause an abnormality. 
Are we there, everyone? So you resist. In other words, you must know more about him. Because the devil is a schemer. The Bible says he uses schemes. Put on the full armor of God that you may be able to resist the schemes of the enemy. For we are not fighting with flesh and blood. We are fighting with principalities. And the powers. Are we, are we there? Yes. So you can resist the devil. That is given within your prayer. That is how much your prayer can go. And number three. You can rebuke the devil. You can rebuke the devil. You can rebuke his demons. You can rebuke him. You know, you must sense when the devil approaches by himself. When Jesus was crossing the sea of Galilee, nature turned against him. Okay? And the Bible says he rebuked the storm. Because it is not a demon that was in the storm. It is the devil. Demons don't come to resist Jesus. The devil comes by himself. Because Jesus is God. Demons work at the level of human beings. That's why Jesus rebuked the demons in the people. And they cast them out. But there was no demon that was ever in him. Every time you see Jesus is in front of it is the devil who comes in person. One time he finished fasting. And, 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 and the devil came and he told him, if you turn the stones into bread. Every time you see resistance against Jesus, it is the devil himself actualizing it. It's not the demons. They are not within his leak. It's every weight. And demons are small weight. They can only operate within you. They can only go to people that they can possess and they can access. And they can never possess Jesus. They can never access him. So the devil came. And the Bible says he rebuked the storm. He was not rebuking the storm. He was rebuking the devil. And that has been given to you. You can rebuke him. Kukemea. You can rebuke him. If he comes. And you sense it is him. You can resist him. You can deny him access. And you can rebuke him. Beyond that, you cannot do anything. Hello? Yes. I'm not talking about witches. Witches, you have been given the, 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 the liberty to do to them anything that you wish. You can make them continue living. You can take the oxygen. You can live with them. Hello? Yes. You can, witches, I mean, this church, uh, for us to discuss about witches and wizards, I think is a small topic. That's why we discuss it once a year. It's a small topic. Hello? Because, why should we even debate about them? Because everything they do, you can reverse. And sometimes, do you know how long it takes for witches to succeed? 